starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Jeff, now must you play ball so close to the house? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, being sorry isn't going to prevent a window from getting broken. Or my head. Well, I'll be careful. Well, you have a great big field out there with the baselines marked. Now, why do you have to play here in the yard? Well, feels too big to play alone. Well, where's Porky? He, he went to a 4-H meeting. Oh, well, well then call Woody or, or Spike. They're at the meeting, too. Why aren't you there? Well, I just didn't want to go. Why not? Do I have to have a reason? Sure, you must have a reason. You've never missed a 4 H club meeting as far as I know. Well, I just didn't go to this one. Besides, I'm thinking of joining the future farmers of America, quitting the 4 H. I'm going for a walk. Come on, girl. Hey, it ain't feeding time yet. Oh, I just had some lettuce leaves and some carrot paring. You know, that sweet corn is coming fine. There ain't nothing like hot days and cool nights to make stuff grow. Dad? Yeah? Do you know why Jeff didn't go to that 4-H club meeting today? Well, I didn't even know there was a meeting, so how would I know why he ain't there? There ain't no law that says he must go, is there? Oh, no, of course not. But why with all the other children at the meeting? Well, how would I know what goes through a boy's mind? See if you can find out. Find what? Oh, don't be stubborn. You know what. Women. Never let well enough alone. There you are, girl. Where's Jeff? you to do me a favor. Gramps is in the barn. Take him to Jeff. Take Gramps to Jeff. Now go on. What do you want? Oh, she's got you working for her too, eh? Well, where is he? Important, will you? No. Uh, this tire patch, I wish you could help me set it and kind of keep the tube taut, see, so it won't wrinkle. Okay. There. Wait, don't you have to put on the cement first? <laughs> I forgot all about that. Lucky I got you around here. Honey, come, you ain't doing nothing on a Saturday. Where's Porky? He's busy. Oh. You know, I'm thinking of quitting the 4-H, joining the Future Farmers of America. Oh, that why you didn't go to the meeting? How do you know about the meeting? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember. Someone must have told me, I guess. Who? Well, I'll have to think back now. Uh, do you know what the meeting's about? No. You want to tell me? Uh, well, only if you promise not to tell Mom. Well, you know I don't make no promises unless I know what the promise is about. Then I can't tell you. You figure you're doing the right thing? Sure. Well, I hope so. Cal Heaton has something to do with the 4-H club, doesn't he? Yeah, he runs it. What do you got in your mind? 
think I'll call him in the morning and find out what that meeting was about. Now, Ellen, you better take my advice and that well enough loan. Well, why doesn't he want me, particularly, to know why he didn't go to that meeting? Well, he's got a reason. What reason could he possibly have? Well, I could set up till cockcrow time thinking of reasons, but I ain't going to. I'm going to bed. Oh, Dad. Huh? Just do me one favor. Tomorrow afternoon, take Jeff fishing for an hour or so. You're making a mistake, Ellen. I don't know what you got in your mind. Now, don't worry. I'll be careful. I don't know. Oh, come in, Sylvester. You mad because I'm late? No, of course not. Come sit down. You call me Sylvester, so I thought... Oh, I'm sorry. Porky. Mm. How about some brownies? Oh, gee, thanks. You stay down, Porky. The reason I'm late is... I had to do some chores I forgot to do this morning. Oh, that's all right, honey. I won't keep you long. Help yourself. Thanks. Were you at the, uh... 4-H club meeting yesterday? Yeah. Was it a special meeting? Mm, yeah, kinda. What was it about? Well, you see, we were supposed to... Porky! Oh, I, I thought you and Gramps were fishing. We weren't fighting. Some blood brother you are. Me? What did I do? Well, it isn't his fault, Jeff. I asked Porky to come over here. You don't have to ask Porky. You don't have to ask anyone. If I wanted you to know why I couldn't go to that meeting, I would have told you. You're right, Jeff. Don't you think if I could tell you that I would? Yes, I think you would, and I'm sorry. That's all right. And I want to see you outside. about as many brains as a flea. Well, how was I supposed to know? I told you why I wasn't going to the meeting. That is dopey. Don't tell me what's dopey. I know how she feels. Look, you can't help it if you don't have a father. Yeah, I know. Did you talk to Mr. Heaton about it? Can your Gramps do something? I don't think so. You know, Gramps is getting pretty old. I can't do things anymore like your pop and Jim Teal. Uh, he didn't do so well at the turkey shoot. I don't care so much about that, but I just don't want to make Mom feel bad. So don't you say anything. Oh, I crossed my... Thanks. Say, Cal, what's this uh, 4-H club uh, thing you got going on for fathers? Oh, that's so. Well, thanks a lot, Cal. Uh-uh. No. No, that's all. Thanks. Bye, Cal. Is that what you call leaving well enough alone? Well, what did he say? Oh, um, um, nothing. Well, come on now, out with it. Would you prefer my calling, Carol? Now look here, Ellen. Oh, it's the same old story. What do you mean, the same old story? Oh, this father and son thing. Each Saturday afternoon, one of the fathers have got to show the club how to do something. Oh. Why is Jeff keeping it a secret? Well, it's as plain as the nose on your face. I'm sorry. I, I must be dense. No, you ain't thinking clear. Well, tell me. He just didn't want to make you feel bad. Make me feel bad? Well, don't you see, Ellen, every time this business comes up about him not having a father, he thinks you fret about it. 
And that's why he didn't want you to know about this one. Oh. I can fix that. How? You'll see. Anything else to do, and I thought maybe you'd like to play a little ball. Come on, drop it. <laughs> well, now, is that so terrible? <laughs> Have you ever played ball before? Oh, a long time ago. But the ball was bigger. Of course, that was softball. This is hardball. You can't play. Why not? Girls never do. Oh, nonsense. Anyway, I'm not a girl. Then stop acting like one. Come on. Well, Mom, you're liable to get hurt. Oh, oh, oh. Don't you worry about me. Get over there. Okay, Jeff, come on. Pitch it in. Come on, pitch it. Oh, no. Not like that. Really, pitch it. Woo. Sorry, I... <laughs> you know, it slipped. Darn foolishness, that's all. Oh. I'm all right. Just knock the wind out of me. Come on, Jeff. Pitch me another one. No, nothing to her. Next one will knock your teeth out. Oh, don't be silly. Come on. Oh, no, Mom. But if you'd like, I'll play checkers with you. Checkers? That's sissy stuff. And what's a sissy about checkers? Oh, well, maybe I, I just used the wrong word. I want to do physical things. Well, how about fishing? Fishing? Yeah, come on, you get the rods. I'll put this stuff away. Oh, a well, fishing we will go. A fishing we will go. I will Do you think I should call the doctor? I don't know. Something's gotten into her. Maybe she's just lost some. I'll go dig some bait. Want me to bait up for you, Mom? Of course not. I can do it myself. Okay. I don't see anything in here. They're buried in the dirt. You have to feel for them. Hey, that's a beauty. <laughs> Breathtaking. Well. Here goes. Here. Well, that's in pretty deep. We'd better get Gramps to take it out. Uh, I'm fine. Nothing but a little pin prick. All right, let's go back, Jeff. You're not going anywhere. Why not? Now, how many times have you gotten a fish hook in your fingers? Well, never putting a worm on. Well, I'm different. I'm going to catch a fish if it kills me. Oh, Mom, they won't be biting now. Oh, stop this. Now, I refuse to be pampered. Well, honest, they never bite after it starts getting hot. Well, it's no hotter now than it was a half an hour ago. Yes, it is. The sun's climbing. All right. We'll play football. Football? Oh. Yeah, football. You only got yourself to blame. Never saw anything like it in my life. A grown woman playing football with a boy. 
I can't help it. I just have to do things like that with him. Well, where's it written? Where's it written? Jeff misses having a father. Anyone can see the boy's lonesome. We gotta stick close to Mom, Lassie. Anyone can see she's lonesome. What are you going to do today, Mom? Oh. What would you like to do? Uh, well, I figured on uh, Jeff uh, sacking some potatoes today. I got the uh, corn to hoe. Sure, Gramps. But what are you going to do today, Mom? I'm going to clean house. But later on, we could do something together after we've both finished working. Well, like what? Uh, well, uh, well, now let's see. We could, uh, well, we could go hiking. Or, uh... Arm? Maybe Indian wrestling. Indian wrestling? Yes, or, or maybe some boxing. Yeah, sure, Mom. Yeah, anything you say. Poor Mom. She must be awful lonesome to want Indian wrestling box. Tell you what, girl. Why don't you go in the house and keep her company? At least I'm two sack of these potatoes. Now go on. Hi. What you doing? Yes. Uh, sack of potatoes. Right. You want to go swimming? Can't. Why not? Because I got to finish sacking these potatoes, and then I... I got something else to do. What? It's none of your business. Mars, what's eating you? Nothing. Well, something sure is. Where's Lassie? In the house. Well, what you doing in the house? If you have to know, she's keeping my mom company. What's the matter with your mom? Sick? No, she's not sick. Then why is Lassie keeping her company? Because she's lonesome. Who, Lassie? No, my mom. No, I thought you had to go swimming. Okay. to be the trouble. Um, there's no trouble, Miss Miller. It's just been acting pretty funny, you know. Yes, I know. Are you really lonesome, Miss Miller? Am I lonesome? Yes, ma'am. Well, now, where on earth did you get that idea? Well, from Jeff. He said he sent Lassie back here to keep you company. Of course, you were lonesome. <laughs> oh, my, this certainly has been a comedy of errors. I think he's lonesome, and he thinks I'm lonesome. Oh. Well, whatever you do, don't let on that I told you. <laughs> don't worry, I won't. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Mr. Heaton. Gee, I don't know, but well, if you'll hold on a minute, I'll ask her. Mom? Yes, dear? It's Cal Heaton from the 4-H. Uh-huh. Well, I didn't tell you, but... Well, every Saturday, one of the kids' fathers is going to teach something at the club, and nobody's father knows how to teach outdoor cooking. So Mr. Heaton was wondering, would you teach it next Saturday? Well, would you like for me to? Sure. You're the best cook in the whole world. All right, then. Mom says okay. Well, thanks a lot. Yes, sir, I'll be there. Mom, I don't think I'll be able to do any Indian wrestling or boxing this afternoon. 
Well, I have a special meeting to go to. Well, sir, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Indian wrestling and boxing about the last things in the world I want to do. Oh, but I thought that... I know, we both thought the wrong thing. We're feeling sorry for one another when there's nothing to feel sorry about. Well, then you're not lonesome? Not a bit. Are you? Oh, no. <laughs> well, then. I'd better finish up sacking those potatoes. And can I help you? I thought you went swimming. No, I forgot about the special meeting. Okay, if you want to help. It's all right. You don't have to keep me company anymore. You can go, too. You'll be the most popular guy at 4-H. How come? Well, because everybody else's father is teaching plowing and planting and how to run a tractor. But your mom is teaching how to make stuff to eat. <laughs> 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 